What is going on traders? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So I've been having a lot of questions about people asking me, what is this crazy platform you're using, Aaron, and how do you keep posting your daily performance like that? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the Trade Evade platform. This is a futures-based platform, and this is how I trade the NASDAQ futures and the S&P futures. It's a fantastic platform, and I haven't seen many people who share that good videos on it, so I thought why not break it down for you guys here on my fantastic YouTube channel and show you guys how to properly use it, set it up, and the fantastic thing about this is you can also integrate it into your trading view which is how I trade directly from there. And who knows, maybe I'll even share some little insights into my NASDAQ trading strategy for you guys just to make this even more valuable. I'm actually gonna show you guys how to do it on this laptop because what I noticed is when I was doing my screen recording videos for you guys on YouTube on this gigantic screen, it was actually cutting off way too much of it. So we'll do it on here, we'll keep this here and then you guys can kind of see both um, and I'll show you guys how to set up. You can completely customize everything to the way you want it, to your style. So let's jump in and do that. All right guys, so here we are. Just opened up a fresh demo account here on TradeAvate to show you guys how this really works. Okay, so this is how I like to have it set. I have the NASDAQ here, then I have the S&P here because I always need to be watching them both. If you haven't already, please check out my NASDAQ trading strategy video where I basically explain to you guys why I need to have both the S&P and the NASDAQ on my chart. So that's why I have there and I have my performance center down here. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna absolutely delete everything and show you guys what to do um, and how to have it laid out to the way that I have it. And maybe you guys can try some different ways as well. What I like to do is I get one chart and if we type in here, NASDAQ, you'll see they all come up. And the one I want to be trading is the E-mini NASDAQ 100, NQZ2. Select that there, boom, there we go. We have the NASDAQ right there. Now what we want to do is we want to get another chart, hold it, drag, drop it here to the side. And here is where we want to have the E-mini e S&P, which we have right there. So very simple, we got our first two charts there. And now we want to kind of add on our performance center before we start changing around the colors and stuff like that. So if we come up here, we can see we got the performance center. I like to keep my performance center at the bottom just because it keeps it cleaner. You can have it on the side, you can have it on the top, you can have it wherever you want, but I like to keep it on the bottom. And what I will do is I'll just have have it dragged down here so I can just pretty much just see my daily p and uh, my profits, my losing trades, and I can see my win and loss rate as well. But you can, you can expand this and actually tells you loads of really interesting things about your day trading performance um, and how your trading has gone. Uh, it shows you really good graphs. Unfortunately, the markets are closed today. Otherwise, I would open up some positions on this demo account just to show you guys. But as you test it and as you will, would have seen from my videos, you can see everything in here really, really well. And then you can just bring that back down there and then that goes there. So what a lot of people like to do as well, they like to have the DOM on their chart, which you can have it on. I like to, if I was going to have it on, I put it put it on the side and um, I'll just make it quite small and then if you want that for the Nasdaq there we go it's already there so we have the Nasdaq there select and then we have the DOM there for the Nasdaq but if you're just trading off just a laptop and you don't have a ridiculously big screen like this for me it's too cluttery or you can have this but be trading on trading which I'll show you guys how to set up towards the end of the video but that's that's the main outlook of our chart so I'm personally only trading the Nasdaq I'm only watching the S&P to understand price so what you could even do is just maybe give a little bit more retail space to your NASDAQ um, and you can just be watching, let's just say, the higher time frame on the S&P right there. So you can see we have everything up here. That's the time period, that's how you change all your times. You can go in and you can change if you want the bars, the lines, and then if you come into settings, you can completely configure your chart. So it already comes with a moving average, you can delete that and then you can put on your own. So if you go to indicators, moving averages, then you can see all the ones that you could put on and customize to yourself. And then you can put on some volume based indicators, which I know some people like to do when they're trading futures, they're all there. And if you come over to explore community indicators, then you can find a much larger range of indicators. So if there's some that you like, you may be able to type them in here and you can very well find them and put them on your charts. But you guys know I'm not a big fan of indicators. I like to keep my charts very, very clean and just to understand simple but effective price action. But if you want to trade indicators, there's nothing wrong with them. You'll be able to find them all here. I know some people like to trade the VWAP, so you can put that on your chart right here. Play around with the settings, do whatever you want, and then you can see there you go. We've got the VWAP there as well. And then whenever you're looking to take a trade, so this is where everything's done. This is the contracts that you'll be trading. If you wanna trade 25 contracts, be my guest. But I'd recommend you guys just to stick to one contract for now 
um, and then scale up as you progress down your future trading journey. And then you have your buy and sell market price buttons right there. That's where you exit your position. And then once you open a position, you'll be able to see your floating PL right here. And then whenever you want to get out of your trade, you can either set it back or you can click this button here and it will completely exit all of the position that you have marked on right here. And if we come over here, before we forget, we've got all our, you know, you've got your trend lines coming up here. You've got all different, so you can do your shapes, you can draw your support and resistance levels like this. Look at that, that was a lovely stop hunt on the NASDAQ on Friday. Pre the NFP move, look at that. Big push up, takes out all retail, retail traders and then drops. But we're not gonna get into technicals, that's for the other videos which you guys can go check out. But yeah, that's where you have all your tools and then you can just click on it, delete it. Same again, click on it and delete it if you want to delete it. So you can actually press and it will set orders for you as well but you can turn that on and off depending on if you want to have it on um so sometimes if the market's open you wanted to go for a sell right here you could go like this sell limit bam your sell limits in you're ready to go well i just got rejected because the markets aren't open but that's how you would do that and if we just come up to the settings up here on the chart this is where you can kind of change the way that you kind of scroll on the charts and then another important thing to know is remembering to roll your contracts forward when you need to so you just come up here onto the settings tab and then you've got the roll forward button there, which you'll need to remember to do. So you click that, you'll roll forward. And then if you need to roll back, then you can click roll back and they'll be there for you. So it's a very important thing that you have to remember when you're trading these futures is to roll them forward when it comes due to the time to do so. So you don't just get on your charts and you're like, why is price not moving? Then that, that that's likely why. And that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna go through all the indicators because I don't use them. If you guys wanna go through them, then you can. They're all here. You can go on some volume-based indicators, put them on, and then there you go. Or you can then just, you know, have them clean like the way that I like to have them. So we're gonna delete that. And that's just the way that I like it. However, for me personally, I like to execute directly off TradingView. This is a fantastic platform and you can trade off this. However, I just prefer the user experience of TradingView. I've always used TradingView to do my technical analysis. So if I can execute off that as well, then I'm gonna do so. So let me just show you guys how to do that. So if we come up here into the applications, and if we head over to add-ons right here, what you'll see here is you'll see trading view and it only costs $9.99 a month, which isn't too bad. Um, and you can have that enabled. So then you can use the same login details that you used here to log on to trading view. So if we come here to trading view, as you guys can see, look, I've already got my two charts laid out. I've got the S and P and we've got the NASDAQ right here. Now, all you want to do is you want to come down here to trading panel. You want to find trade of eight and you want to put in your details and then connect. And there you go, that's where you have your trade of eight logged in right there. Now, if we just minimize that, now we've got the broker connected to trading view so we can trade it directly from here. You just wanna come down to the settings, trading. I like to have my buy and sell buttons on. I have my positions on my chart so I can see my P&L as the way price moves. But if you want to have it so you don't have to look at your P&L when you're in a trade, then you can just have it so you're watching the tick moves. And in this case, that, that'll be the point. So. If you enter a position here and price goes up and you don't really want to see the profits, you just want to see more of the point moves, then you can change it to that. So it'll show this coming up that you're 40 points in profit um, and so on. But I personally am okay with the psychological side of having the money being shown. I quite like it, but it's something that it takes a long time to get used to. And then if you tick executions, whenever you execute a chart, you'll see your orders and where they've been put in anywhere on the chart, which is also really nice to see when you come towards the end of the session, you can see the positions to the exact point of where you've entered where you've exited and where you've scaled in, etc. So really, really nice to have that as well. And then you can come here on the side and this is where you can set all your orders. So you can mark it, execute, you can set your limits, your stops and your stop limits and everything will be in there for you as well. Um, and just remember, if you are in a position, then you'll be able to click the X button to get out of the position. But say if you're in a long trade, you just need to remember to click the sell button to get out of that trade. And that's personally how I like to use TradeAvate. The TradeAvate platform is fantastic, but I just prefer the technicals and like I said, the user experience and trading view. For me, it's just clean it a lot more customizable. But then when it comes to the end of the day, I love going on TradeAvate and looking at my performance center to see how my day's gone, my win rate. It tells you how long you held your winners, how long you held your losers. So you can get a really good understanding if you held your losses for longer than your winners, then that's something you need to work on. And everything will be shown for you right here in this performance center. I've been posting screenshots of this on my Instagram for my personal performance. 
Um, and this is the way that I do it and the way that you guys can look to do it as well. So this is only the futures trading platform. And that's the way that I trade the NASDAQ if I'm not trading it on a funded account. But being able to execute directly from TradingView has been a game changer for me. It's just been so much cleaner. I've been able to manage my positions. If I'm in a position here, let's just say we took a long trade here and this is my real position. You put in your, let's just say, do it a lot. You put in your order of a stop loss. Whenever it runs up, you just drag it in. You put it at a break even, bam, it's done. And it just makes your life a lot easier. There's many different brokers that you can use to execute directly off TradingView, but the best one I found for future trading like this has been TradeVate because they have a fantastic platform that I use from time to time as well if I'm doing other things on TradingView um, and mainly for this performance center and having the DOM right there is also very, very clean. And if you are interested in futures funding, then you can use a company called Topstep who actually use TradeAvay as their platform for you to be able to trade off, which is really, really nice. I haven't seen many funding firms that allow this sort of integration where you can then transfer that over to TradingView as well, which is really, really clean. And that's it. That's my complete setup. That's the setup that I think you guys can use, but have a play around, play around with the colors of the charts to the way that you like it. You can customize it completely to your style. I would recommend having the NASDAQ on one, the S&P on the side for obvious reasons, um, and then you can kind of go from there. So I hope you guys found value from this video. If you did and you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And if you have any questions about TradeAvay, anything like that, then feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to help you guys out. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.